All right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, right now, I want to talk about my results that I got back from my Ubiome Smart Gut Health Kit. My last video was unboxing it and talking about how you go about obtaining a sample to send it in. So, you know, they give you swab, they give you this Smart Gut little tube with some solution in it. So, you take this cotton swab and you rub it just lightly on your uh, toilet paper, your used toilet paper that you wipe your butt with. Might well, sound kind of gross, but it's not that invasive. Swirl it around in this tube, right? And then you shake it for a minute. Ship it off to day air. You don't have to pay for it. Prepaid by Ubiome. Ubiome.com. So, uh, it was about a week. Got my results back uh, today, this morning. So, <clears throat> they give you all your... It's basically in a PDF, PDF format here, as you see here. They give you okay so I'm gonna walk through it just real quick um, of course detecting a microorganism by this test does not imply that you have a disease it's just something that you might want to look for or maybe tweak a little bit in your nutrition my diversity score compared to a healthy reference range my uh, diversity score is normal which is great then they go pathogens they uh, do different pathogenic species and genera. Uh, I am not positive for any of them. I'm negative for all of them. And the organisms outside healthy reference range. Um, this is basically uh, what I need to do. And then there's another document that actually from ubiome.com you can find. It'll tell you, okay, if you're low and say anorotrichinus calahuminus is a certain organism that I'm low in. Well, Ruminococcus albus. Uh, for that, for example, I believe I have to eat a low starch diet, so I'm eating too much, or low carb diet, eating too much carbohydrates. And uh, I don't know as my microbiome changes because they just shipped me another one. Uh, they just told me, sent me a notification saying that my second one's being shipped. So I'll probably be taking that when I get back from vacation and see how that's going. Anyways, they do some definitions about uh, for different conditions for different bat organisms. Um, explains it for you the diversity score and the following microorganisms, and then just basically giving you a walkthrough of what different icons mean. And now it's going to the infections. So, like the first one is diarrhea. And they give you associated organisms that would be associated with diarrhea. I'm negative for all of those. Inversely associated, there's two of those. Lactobacillus and microbial diversity, normal for those. Anyways, it goes through your gut conditions, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, which I'm normal and negative in, which is great. Ulcerative colitis, so you might want to keep an eye on that. Probably not a big deal, it's the whole... Uh, carb deal. Constipation, abdominal tenderness, bloating, flatulence, uh, lifestyle and diet, obesity, type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, kidney stones. Um, that's one thing I got to look at is my kidney stones. In, inversely associated is the oxalobacter formagens, formagenes. I'm low in. So that might be what it is. I might be, I'd have to look again. Anyways, that's my test report, my results from the ubiome.com smart gut health kit. If you have any questions, make sure to uh, comment down below, hit a thumbs up, share it. Uh, go ahead and check out ubiome.com. You might be interested in knowing what's going on in your gut. Figure out more about your health, becoming a better you. It doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Alright guys, you have a great one, have a great week.